Hi, I'm Dave, I'm from Future Fit Training and joining me here today is Glennis from the AFN and Ravni, who's one of our graduates. Hi, so I'm Glennis, I'm the Deputy Chief Executive at the Association for Nutrition and I'm also a registered nutritionist myself. Hi, I'm Ravni Panissa, I'm a health coach and also a Future Fit Ambassador. So the AFN is the Association for Nutrition and we're the independent regulator of nutritionists in the UK. And we're established to provide public protection so people know that they're going to be working with individuals who are suitably qualified, but are also signed up to a commitment of ethics, conduct and performance. Um, and the first thing that really stood out to me is, is being accredited. Um, whether it's you know avoiding imposter syndrome, like you do not want to go into the market and be an unethical provider, legal action, you know we have to have insurance. There's a lot of things you need to consider. So coming in via Future Fit, you know this is what you will learn. This is the level that you can go to, um, and I think there's always the understanding you can then build in towards degree education. So for me as a working mum, I needed to know it was possible within the timelines of the course whilst juggling a full-time job and my family commitments you know you the last thing you want to do is start something invest in something that you can't finish um, and so below degree level just means you can like you don't know what you don't know until you know it it means you can dip your toe in but in a way that you are held to achieve the qualification you're not going to be left on your own and to flunk because that's not going to help anyone but yeah, so, you know, degree is a really big commitment for some people. And I think look for the registered bodies, because obviously this was also approved by the Royal Society of Public Health, the accreditation with the um, Association for Nutrition, um, and knowing that the organisation is going to support you in legally compliant career, should you choose to take it forward and, and apply your qualification. I think it's really important. And a training provider once said to me, you, anyone can produce a course, they can put it online and sell it, and they can give you a certificate, but that's like marking your own homework. If you've got certification from the professional body for that subject, you know that actually somebody's checked it, they've put it through that quality assurance. So therefore you can have confidence in the training and what you're gonna be coming out from it. It also means as a practitioner, I'm really confident to work with those individuals because I know they've done a course that actually meets the same standards, they've got the same ethos. So whether it's in nutrition and you're looking for it to be recognised by the AFN, or if it's in personal training and it's recognised, for example, by SIMSPA, you've got that confidence in that training provision. And that's why having the accreditation, you give people realistic expectations for what they can achieve for their health. Um, you don't just overpromise and massively under-deliver under -deliver and potentially um, cause more hazard to the health. Yeah, and I think it is important that you make sure that that recognition is by the body who's the expert in that area because anyone can pay for some sort of approvals and say, oh, it's got a CPD approval for this, that and the other. But actually you want to make sure it's with the body that actually oversees that area of specialism. Yeah, I think that's something that's really important, isn't it? Because a lot of courses can be CPD certified and you'll feel as though it's a qualification, but unless it's recognised by the governing body, body in that particular area, it, it's quite difficult to know if that's going to really give you good information or something that maybe could be misinformation at times as well. Yeah, and I think that's something really important to understand, that some of those more generic CPD schemes aren't actually looking at the content. So actually, if you've got that certification with the specialist body in that area, they have actually looked at the content and at the delivery. So I think you'll agree with me. That the benefit <laughs> is you can have confidence in what you're learning. You know that it's evidence-based. You know that you're actually being provided information about what you can do. So it's not necessarily about saying to people, you can't do this, you can't do that, yeah. but understanding what your scope is so that you can maximise what you can do and you've got that solid understanding behind it. And therefore also you know when and why to refer on. Yeah. So it helps you with that. So you can be really confident in your practice 
and also in providing that support to your clients. Actually helping people to think about when they go to the shops, what should they be looking for on that label? How can they make a healthier choice within the food category that they're buying? Yeah. And those things actually have a big long-term effect on people and actually can improve the health of a huge number of people, far more than what maybe we can work in one-to-one. -one. Yeah.